Okay, this is part two for you sixth graders for your history. On Tuesday, we went over the first section. This should look somewhat familiar. All right. Today's for Thursday, May 21st, and we're gonna finish this section. We're gonna go over this page here and these two pages here, and hopefully they can support you with your work. So let's get into it. So um, we learned about Pericles. Um, one of the th He wanted three things. He wanted democracy to expand the empire and to make Athens beautiful. So, so this is the second thing that he wanted, to make Greece and Athens bigger and stronger. So what he did is he formed this league called the Delian League. And what that means is that all the Greek city-states basically came together. Before this, like, okay, the people that lived in that city did their thing. The people on the west side of Athens did their thing. And they, they were very separated. But what the Dillian League did is it helped to organize this league. And it was called Dillian League. Why, why is it called that? Because it was located on the island of Delos. Um, Pericles used money from the league's treasury to build a strong navy. The navy fleet was made up of at least 300 warships. So not only did this guy bring Greece together, he also was smart and used the money wisely to help a military to defend themselves too. And Athens really dominated that. Remember, that's the capital of this country. And it's still a place today called Greece. They dominated this part called the Mediterranean region <clears throat> because they had a better navy than everybody else. So they moved it to Athens. It used to be on this island. And then it helped to strengthen Athens' power. Now, here's the problem, though. They started to get, I think you kids would say, big-headed, conceited. So Athens thought they were big and bad and better than everybody. Let me read you from the text. Athens stated, so according to the author, Athens stated or started treating the other members of the league as if they were conquered people, not allies. Eventually, Athens dominated all of the city-states to such an extent that they became part of the Athian Empire. So what happened was it was a good idea, but then people got a little power trip. So Athens was at first, you know, they, they were buddies, friends with everybody, but then they basically took control and ran over the thing, which is what we see today. Now, his third thing was making it beautiful, beautifying Athens. So he helped Athens get rebuilt, and he built this thing called the Acropolis, and that's a real picture of it today. Remember, it's over 2,000 years old. Basically, on a hill, this is the Acropolis where my finger is, and this is the uh, Paratheon. Okay, so what's the Acropolis? I'm looking right here. It's basically called the High City. Um, it's basically, an, it's, like, it's like a region or like an area um, where, where important temples, churches, monuments, and buildings were located. And sadly, all of it got destroyed during the war, so they wanted to like build it back up. Also, the, the most, so the Acropolis is like the mall, and one of the stores in the mall is the Parthen Parthenion. So the Acropolis is like the, the city or the region. And then this is one of the buildings here. So this building right here. And actually in the United States, on the back of the penny, it almost looks our um, Abraham Lincoln Memorial sort of looks like this, by the way. I think we probably copied it a little bit. Its purpose was to house a statue of Athena, a goddess. Ath Athenians thought of her as a warrior who protected Athens. Athena was also a goddess of wisdom, arts, and, hand, um, and handicrafts too. So remember, the three things that this guy wanted was to democracy, strengthen it, and make it beautiful too. So let's see. Pericles, did he, okay, let's see. Did he do it? Yes, he did strengthen democracy in Athens. And how did he do it? By paying public officials. So ch check. Did he expand the empire? Did he make Greece and Athens bigger and badder and stronger and larger? Yes. How did he do it? With a strong navy. That's soldiers in the water. Did he make it? Check. The third thing is he wanted to make Athens beautiful. Did he do it? Yep, because he rebuilt all the stuff that was broken down from the war and he beautified Athens. Wow, it's amazing. So he had three things he wanted to do and he did them all. So hopefully this helped you with your, um, with your work. Remember, there's a copy of this in your Google Classroom along with some other YouTube videos about the things that I talked about and we'll see you next time.